back to Angel's Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for September 2020. Let's get right into your general message. No love for bonus. Yeah, because that full love reading will be coming soon. All right, Virgo, let's get right into your energy for September. Angels and guides, angels and guides, we're looking for positive energy for Virgo. Yes, 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 for the month of September. Lots and lots of bonuses. Positive energy for Virgo. September 2020, angels. What's the energy around Virgo? Energy around Virgo? Come on, angels. What's going on? What is going on for... Wow. What's going on for Virgo? Moving on to the new deck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. These are all upright because we're getting all the positive energy that we can out of your energy. Moving on to the angels deck for Virgo. Angels and guides, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, of course, of course, all upright. Yes, yes, yes. All upright. Moving on to my Go ahead, say it. My mom was dead. <laughs> Moving on to my mom was dead. Angels and guides, positive energy, positive energy, high vibrations, high vibrations for Virgo. Yes, yes, yes. Pause. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two more, please, for Virgo. Thank you, angels. I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Angels of light deck, angels of light deck for Virgo. You're like, how many decks, Dora? How many decks? Yeah, we're almost done. We are almost done. Remember, it is okay. It is okay, Virgo. I feel like, yeah. Yeah, it's okay to just yeah, take that little button down at the bottom and um, just, just move it across. Just move it across. Upright, upright, please, angels. Upright. Positive energy, positive energy for Virgo. For the month of September. September, tapping it off as usual with the hummingbird deck. Angels, positive energy please for Virgo. Come on angels, what's going on for Virgo? What is the energy around Virgo? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Angels, thank you. What is thought? <laughs> yes, angels, positive energy for Virgo. Thank you. And Thank you, thank you, and, 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 and thank you. Pause, come on, angels, just one more, just one more for lovely, lovely Virgo. Now, let's tidy up a bit, and we'll get right into your messages for September. Yes, ninth month of 2020. All right, so major theme for the month is the Ace of Swords, new beginning, accelerated motion. Whoa, shoo, I get tired just thinking about it. New beginning, I feel like this is a new beginning in love. This is a gift from God. The Jack of Clubs, I feel like this is, it. I feel like with the Jack of Clubs, there's a bit of energy of mischief I feel, a little bit of playfulness with the eight of diamonds, but you know, there's some power behind that playfulness and some stability, the angel of stability. With the ace of clubs, I feel like I feel like there's new thoughts. I feel like you have brand new thoughts about what stability should look like in your life. How you want stability constantly. Yes. Now when we look into your recent past of Virgo. We have the star card with the emotional withdrawal. The star card again. Oh my gosh. And the teaching and learning with the queen of clubs, the joker, mm -hmm. with the angel of virtue, the queen of hearts, and the eight of clubs. So in the recent past, I'm thinking of Virgo. I feel like things were going really, really well for you. I, I feel like emotionally you were very balanced, but there was something, you know, it was kind of like a back and forth kind of emotion, like emotional withdrawal, but yet the star card, like you felt good, you felt 
really, really good some of the time. That's all I'm picking up some of the time. With the star card, I feel like, yeah, it's like a push-pull with your emotions. Sometimes you felt good and sometimes you didn't. This was definitely a learning opportunity for you. With the Queen of Clubs, I know that you knew that this was a learning opportunity for you. You just didn't know how the lesson was going to come, right? You, you just didn't, but you knew with the Angel of Virtue that this was something that you had to do. With the Queen of Hearts, it may have something to do with love, relationships, or children, or even, or even, depending on how this fits in your life, it could have also represented your work right? It could have represented you feeling like you were overworking and or like relationship, apply it to your life as it fits. Now, with this Queen of Hearts and this Eight of Clubs, I definitely feel like you were kind of like, yeah, this is something that I had to do. So if it was relationship, you felt that this was an opportunity to learn and grow. If it was work, it felt like, whoa, I'm not so sure. Like sometimes you felt good about the work and sometimes you didn't, right? You did it. But nonetheless, you felt this was something you needed to do. That was in the recent past. Now, in the middle of September, we have the six, the six of swords reversed with positive movement forward. The knight of shells, the gentleness. Yes, 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 yes. And the nine of clubs, the eight of clubs, the angel of rescue, the nine of diamonds, and the two of diamonds. So I feel in the middle of the month, you are returning to something. Mm, I feel like you had distanced yourself away from something. It could have been work. It could have been something that you were thinking that wasn't necessarily I want to say mentally healthy for you. Um, that's what I'm picking up. I feel like you distanced, you distanced yourself from that. And now in the middle of the month, you find yourself right back there again. But this time, you're wanting it to be different. You're wanting it to be more positive. I see you being very charming in this situation. Very gentle. Yes, you're wanting a different approach. You're willing to let go of any stubborn or, or thoughts that you had, any preconceived conceived um, um, ideas, okay? You're willing to let them go. With the angel of rescue, I feel like you in, you're in a supportive role, if that makes sense. The nine of diamonds is telling me, yes, you are letting go. I feel like you're letting go. I feel like you're letting go with the two of diamonds. I feel like you're letting go of any type of coldness, any type of, like this is a partnership, but it feels more like not, like, if this is about a relationship, the relationship feels a bit cold, if you will. It doesn't feel as warm as it had in the past. But I, I feel like you're letting go of if, if this is about, I feel like if this is about a job or a situation or a house or something of that nature, whatever it is you're you're finding yourself returning to and you're wanting it to be different, I feel like you're doing your best to approach it differently. You're doing your be best to um, to not, not, like you're going back to something that didn't feel so good, right? And you're thinking that this time around, maybe things are going to be better. Maybe if I, if I do this, or maybe if I let go of that thought, maybe if I let go of this thought. But I feel like in the end, in the end of, of the month, it's almost like, you're doing too much, okay? Always like, yeah, you're doing too, as the, as the kids say, you're doing too much, all right? Now, now, let's move on to the end of the month. We have the High Priestess card with the Intuition and the Hangman card with the Passion and the Two of Clubs, the King of Clubs with the Angel of Inner Strength, the Ace of Diamonds and the King of Clubs. So I definitely feel by the end of the month, the High Priestess card, High Priestess card, you know your intuition was Oh, I'm just going to tell you, by the end of the month, go back, rewind this video, okay? Because I need you to know, at the end of the month, Virgo, your intuition is going to be on point. If you feel something, if you get a vibe, if your gut tells you something, go with that, Virgo. It will save you a lot of heartache, okay? With the hangman, I definitely feel like you're hanging around for something, and I feel like, I feel like you know, 
feel like what you're hanging around for is for something to get ignited, for some passion to return to something. With the two of clubs, I feel like I feel like you're going to be talking about this. You're wanting to start something new. With the king of clubs, I feel like you already know. You you definitely already know. It's like you're you're hearing, you know. With the inner strength, you're like, oh God, I hear you saying, oh God, I know, I know, I know. But with the Ace of Diamonds, I feel like you're still wanting to reboot. You're still wanting a new beginning. With the King of Clubs, you already know. I don't have to tell you. You already know what this answer is about hanging around, trying to get something started again. It's, it's almost like this new beginning, whatever you're trying to jumpstart, you already know how it's going to end. Trust me, you got two king of clubs here. You already know. And you have the intuition. You already know. It's almost like you know how the story is going to end, okay? All right, now, when we look at your bonus, you have the six, the seven, up and eight of pentacles reversed with the ten of wands reversed with the page of wands and the knight of pentacles, the universe card with the ten of feathers and chakra clearing with the seven of diamonds, ace of spades, angel of serenity, king of spades, and the three of clubs. So your bonus here, I feel like your bonus is telling me that, you know, I hope that you're ready to put in a lot of work this month. I feel like the work is not going to be it's like you're thinking, oh God, no, I can't start this again. Well, it's not going to be as laborious as it used to be or it was in the past. Actually, I see that you're taking off in a new direction with the Page of Pentacles, but you're not moving as quickly in that direction as you did in the past with the universe card because once again you already know what is down the road your antenna your psychic antenna is on point with the ten of feathers i definitely feel like you know there is a transformation coming your chakra you you've cleared you've done some spiritual work and it's almost like you have like Anything that you're involved in, work, love, you already know. Um, I'm gonna. I I just feel like you're trying to reboot something. You're returning to something in the middle of the month, right? But by the end of the month, you already know. I I feel like I see you at the end of the month saying, you know, I did try to reboot this. I did try to bring this back to life, if you will, whether it was a job, a relationship, um, whatever it is that you tried to bring back, right? Save, if you will, rescue, if you will. I feel like by the end of the month, I hear you saying, you know, I knew that wasn't going to work or I knew that was going to work, right? Now, when I look at the seven of diamonds, I feel like you're, you're spiritually a-okay. You're looking at life differently. You're saying, you know what? However this ends up is however this ends up. With this Ace of Spades, you're taking a deeper look at a situation, much deeper than you did in the past. You don't have a choice because your psychic ability is showing you. If you chose not to look at a situation in the past, let's say you... Um, you had a habit of starting something and you never finished it. And you always had this thing where, okay, well, um, the reason why is because A, B, C, or D. But you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're saying, yeah, I, I know I always do that. Or maybe you're in relationships that you already know how it's going to end. It's like maybe you choose the same type of relationships over and over again, right? And now you're looking in the mirror at yourself and you're going, I already knew that's what I did. And now you have to look in the mirror and go, yes, and like nobody is going to tell you this. This is a transformation that you are going through yourself. You are seeing this for yourself. The, the veil of e illusion, it, it's gone. You actually just see it for yourself. And it's giving you the angel of security, serenity. It's giving you peace of mind because it's not coming from anything outside of yourself. It's not coming from a person, a friend, a family member. No, this transformation, this is something that you know. The veil of illusion is gone. By the end of September, it is gone. You see if it's the same kind of job that you always get that you don't like, if it's the same type of relationship that you get into and you don't like it. It's like now you got to look at yourself in the mirror and go, oh my God, 
it's me. It's me, right? With the king of spades, looking at yourself in the mirror, it is a lot of work and it will worry you a bit, but don't let it worry you. Find something creative to do. Maybe you want to journal. Maybe you want to write a, a song about whatever it is you always find yourself in. Or you might want to write a play or a screenplay or a rap song or poetry, whatever it is. Please don't take it into worry. Take it into creativity. This is a re this is a month where you are looking at yourself in the mirror straight like there's nothing but you. It's raw. Okay, you are raw. You are looking at yourself in the rawest way possible this month. Okay, so I send you joy. Namaste. Much, much love sent your way.